Get everyone Nathan here at Glass for Classics. Now today we're gonna to run you through one that we get asked a lot. How do I put the windscreen glass into my windscreen frame? Now this one specifically is for those of you with 32, 34, Fords, etc. Uh, this is a very straightforward process. A lot of you uh, will have been told to glue the glass into the frame or urethane it. Do not do it. As I remind everybody, Getting the glass in the frame like that is very easy. Getting it back out again, if you get a stone chip or a crack in the future, or you have to re-chrome or repaint the frame, you are in for a lot of trouble getting it back out again. Now, what we use is the traditional mounting method. It's called setting tape. Very, very simple. We keep it in stock. It's about $10 a method, uh, $10 a meter. Now, very straightforward. We're just gonna pull the frame. This particular customer has had this re-chrome. We're just gonna pop the bottom apart. Now, the thing to remember with these particular frames is that the sides taper inwards. So when you get the glass in, because they taper in at the base, it is going to be a little bit tighter. It will require a little bit of effort. Now, we get our new glass. At Glass for Classics, we have actually had our glass custom made to be the right thickness. It's just over, it's about 6.14 millimeters thick. This will still fit in these frames. Traditional glass suppliers will use glass that's about 6.76 mil. That is extremely tight. You risk cracking the glass in the frame. Now, this is the setting tape. As I said, $10 a metre. Very, very simple. In this instance, this is an original frame, 6.1 mil glass. We're using 1.6 millimetre setting tape. It comes in a flat ribbon. All we're going to do is literally, in the interest of time, I've pre-folded this. You're just going to fold it in half all the way along the length. Now, we're gonna sit it across the sides and the top. Get some black electrical tape. Don't have to, it will save time if you've got some clear tape or you've got black electrical tape. This will just be to hold it while you are putting it into the frame. It doesn't really matter what you use, you don't need to use a lot of it. You simply need something just to hold it so that you're not on your own struggling with a long length of this. Now, a couple of pieces will be more than enough. As you see, we haven't done the bottom yet. We can come back. Once this is in the top of the frame, that will be fine. We can come back to that. Now, corners. In the top, some, if you've seen some of our other videos, you'll see that we cut them. In this, we don't need to. It's actually a large enough radius that if you just massage that very carefully, you will get a nice clean bend all around the top. Do both sides. Making sure that it's not doubled up or puckered anywhere. Now, Generally, you want to use kerosene as the lubricant on this. You can, that's not a drama. We find, however, with the windscreen frames, you do need slightly longer working time. To be honest, a bit of good old fashioned glass cleaner is gonna give you a lot better working time. It's encapsulated all the way around, so you don't need to worry about it tacking off. So we're just gonna give this a bit of a spray. Just lubricate it nicely. All this is, is literally acting now as a lubricant. It's not gonna set it, it's not gonna do anything, so you don't need to stress. Give the frame a quick squirt inside as well. Making sure we've got this facing the right way. So you're gonna slide over one end, and at this point, we're going to flex the frame just a little bit. You'll get a little bit of movement out of it. You need just enough. Walk the glass down the frame. It will go on, oops, let me stand this up, it will go on quite easily. Put this upside down now. Now what we generally do, we've just got one of the good Irwin Quick Grip clamps. You can use a rubber mallet, you've just got to be very, very careful. This is laminated glass, it is more prone to cracking. We just have a little piece of rubber just to sit over the edge of the glass. Sit this on the edge of the frame. I'm just gonna pull this in. Don't try and pull it all in one go. Work it a section at a time. Not in a rush, 
you can come back to it. Now, you'll see we're actually using just a paint stand. Most of us have got this at home. Go down, go grab a $2 pool noodle, put a cut down the middle and sit it over. It's nice and soft. You will not scratch anything. You don't need to worry about damaging anything at all. So, keep this as easy as possible. Now that's down there. Right, put that out of the way. Now, bottom, we're gonna grab, we just have a nice sharp razor blade, just use a paint blade, everybody's got them in the shed. Go get yourself a nice new razor blade. At this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna line this razor blade up with the mitre that's already on the bottom of the frame. Line that up and simply push straight down. That is now gonna line up perfectly with that. Same on the bottom. Remove the excess. Come around this side. Cut there. And cut there. Okay. Now, with the ends of this, go through once again. Fold this in half, all the way along. Now, easiest way is to actually go ahead and pre-mitre one corner. So we're just going to trim this. You don't need to be totally exact, as long as you're close. We're going to sit this down in here and line that up so you get a nice clean mitre through there. Once again, just a little bit of tape just to make life easier so it's not slipping and sliding while you're doing it. At this end, we're going to line the mitre up and simply trim this off. Get your mitre neat, trim that off, and get rid of that. Again, a little bit more tape. So, give this a bit of a wet. One end sitting nicely. Pull the frame in, it is going to be snug. Make sure that that end is sitting down at least halfway. So as you're pulling this, that end does not actually pop itself out of the frame. again. Now, the other thing to remember, some of the, these frames, I'll flip this over this way, actually have the little corner pieces that need to be put in place. If you've got them, make sure you use them. They don't all do that, but there are a handful of them that do. So I'll flip this back over again. I'm just going to sit that in place. And once again, just pull that on in there. Our screws are lining up nicely. This customer's gone and got some nice new stainless steel screws for the job. In this instance, you don't need to worry about the screws hitting the glass. Certain frames you do. These ones, there is enough of a gap between them that you don't have that issue. So we'll sit that in there. Pop our corner back in here again. Sitting where it needs to. 
two. Make sure our screw holes are lined up. We can pop that back in. Now, Now that's done, you can come back to the middle. You do want to make sure that this is sitting on the glass all the way. So we just give this a quick squeeze all the way along. And back to our razor blade again. Now, make sure your corners, you're happy with how these are all sitting. At this point, this is where we're going to trim the excess setting tape off. Don't cut at 90 degrees. Lean the blade in slightly so that you are putting about a 10 or 15 degree angle on the blade. Move very, very slowly all the way around and you'll end up with a really neat finish all the way through. Now this whole process has taken no time at all. The same will apply if you need to replace this. You can pull the frame apart very, very quickly, get the new glass in. If you do need any glass or you do have any other questions, you need some setting tape, feel free to give us a call. Our number is 1300 442 or send us an email to enquiries at glassforclassics.com.au. Uh, we do have all the glass templates in stock for just about everything. Everything is stamped, it is ADR compliant, and for those of you in Australia, it is ASRF compliant. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you do have any other questions, as I said, feel free to get in touch, and I hope this has been helpful.